Where in the world is Edward Snowden? The mystery continues. This is What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Joanne Poe. Flight attendants on an Aeroflot flight from Moscow bound for Havana say Edward Snowden was not on board the plane. Mr. Snowden is the former security contractor wanted by U.S. authorities for allegedly leaking National Security Agency documents. Hong Kong announced Sunday that Mr. Snowden had flown out of the country. The anti-secrecy group WikiLeaks said that he had landed in Moscow. Ecuador says that Mr. Snowden has submitted a request for asylum. Meantime, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry warns Hong Kong and Russia, saying that there would be some effect and impact on their relationships with the U.S. if either nation had advance warning of Mr. Snowden's travel plans and allowed him to board an airplane. The week kicks off with a global sell-off. Wall Street opening with a triple-digit loss. The sell-off starting in Asia overnight. China's stock market posting its biggest decline in nearly four years. The Shanghai Composite dropping 5.3%. Amid fears the Chinese central bank may not step in to ease a liquidity crunch. The carnage spreading throughout the rest of Asia, fueling heavy losses from Hong Kong to Japan. And then on to the European markets. I'm going to scare circles around you this year. <laughs> Monsters University topping the weekend box office in its debut. The prequel to the 2001 hit Monsters, Inc. from Walt Disney's Pixar Animation Studios taking in an estimated $82 million. That's the second highest launch ever for Pixar, behind only Toy Story 3. Zombie Apocalypse World War Z, starring Brad Pitt, coming in second with a solid opening with $66 million in ticket sales. Man of Steel rounds out the top three, earning $41 million in its second week. We'll keep you posted on all the latest news developments throughout the day and what's news on WSJ Live.